Only over 2 million migrants have been detained and processed by U.S. border agents in the past year, a record level that includes more than 200,000 just last month. Another bus transporting migrants landed in New York City from Texas, continuing a multi-day trek that for many began here, according to Manuel Busharkas' report from El Paso, Texas, a border city that is straining to respond. You're getting an average of 400 people a day at this migrant welcome center, which is a lot and that's going to increase shortly so you don't see this slowing down at this point at this point we're just managing the numbers that they come in. The asylum seekers here are mostly from Venezuela, and Border Patrol reports that more than a thousand migrants are crossing into the area a day. Since Nicaragua and Cuba don't have diplomatic links with the U.S., there is no easy way to get them back. El Paso has sent nearly 60 buses carrying migrants north, but the city claims it closely coordinated that with local leaders at those destinations to ensure they are prepared to receive them. Atencio is trying to reach New York with her three-year-old son because there is no work and not enough money. She believes she would die here. They receive assistance getting to their next destination, with some seeing it laid out for the first time and gaining an understanding of how long it will take. A local sheriff has begun a criminal inquiry into how the governor of Florida brought roughly 50 migrants to Martha's Vineyard in Massachusetts last week, we are also reporting tonight. Packard's Nora Manny on the border, many thanks.